Hello everyone, it is Grace and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm filming your favourite and my favourite and that is a Zara haul. It's involving birthday outfits which is quite a stressful subject for me because my birthday is in less than a week now. A few things in this haul could be potentially good outfit options. There's so much in Zara that I just love at the minute. I think they've really upped their game this season. I can't stop ordering from them. It's actually a joke. I have a massive box next to me and it's full of Zara clothes. So we're just going to open it up. I've not done a Zara haul in like at least a month. So I need to catch you guys up with what I've been buying. Because I'm always ordering stuff on there. Honestly, these boots are just... I can't even explain to you how much I love these boots. I feel like they just literally are me. Summed up in autumn winter like i cannot recommend these boots more to you they make it's making me emotional talking about them they're like my children i'm obsessed with them <gasps> i'm so in love with them i can't do what so they're basically just some i say just it's so much more than that they're these cream knee high 60s style boots i love them so much i got these about a month ago I want to say and every year Zara would do a similar pair of boots to these then that they've never actually had ones like this and I just think these are the most perfect ones because all of the other years the heel has been like huge and they're just really hard to walk in I'm not gonna lie to you I have a black pair with the big heel and I actually got the cream pair from last year but I sold them on Depop because they were just too high on they are a hundred pound on the Zara website which is quite a lot for a pair of boots but they're real leather so they don't rub you they're good quality they're going to last you a long time you compare these with just so many outfits like they instantly make a basic black skirt and a basic roll neck look so cute and like 60s vibes Sharon Tate vibes they're just the best thing I've ever bought in my life you don't feel like you're wearing heels even though you sort of are because the heel's so small on them I've worn these with so many outfits everyone on Instagram is probably sick of them but I'm not I love them. I'm so obsessed. I'm a bit over the whole over the knee boot trend. I like the under the knee boot trend. That's what I'm into at the minute. I wore this with the boots and another shirt under it. Oh, I've got foundation on it. What colour would you call this? Mint? Mint green um, vest, sweater vest. And honestly, I loved how this looked. Yeah, it just gives me like clueless vibes. I'd wear this with some like beige or nude leather leggings. I think that would look so cute. You could also wear it with jeans. I love wearing a sweater vest with jeans. I also just want to point out before someone else does, <laughs> my fake tan fail. I literally used the Tanologist face tanner drops. And I didn't realise that they literally stain your hands. Because I thought it's clear, so it's not going to like stain my hands. Woke up in the morning orange all over my hands so please can we just like allow that it won't happen again but it's there now we're gonna open the box which is so exciting it's like christmas came early and can i just say ladies and gentlemen it is heavy it's heavy normally they're quite light but the, whoa this one's heavy i love how much zara put effort into their like online order packaging because it honestly feels like you're opening a present it makes you feel like you're opening a present which i just think is so kind of them i'm going for lunch at the ritz and i've also got a lunch on my actual birthday so i thought this could be a good outfit to wear to one of those it's quite a good lunch vibe like a smart lunch vibe and i would definitely wear it again as well after i wouldn't just be like a one time thing i got these shorts which i think are so cute it's these shorts with gold buttons and they're quite long actually, but I think they were really cinch you in high waisted. Definitely my vibe. Um, and I wanted something like this to wear for my birthday lunch as well. So I don't know. And then I'll show you the blazer. But the blazer is actually so cute. And I don't have, I say I don't have, I do have stuff like this. But it's a bit different because it's cropped. So this one is like literally a cropped blazer, which I love. It's kind of got like puffy sleeves. And I just think you cannot go wrong with something like this it's so smart but you can also dress them down with jeans as well i love the gold button i'm always in like gold hoops so i think this would look really nice with a pair of those i don't know what to do can you please let me know what the vibe is like for the ritz lunch because i have no idea some people tell me that it's really dressy and then some people tell me that it's like tweed blazer and tweed shorts and maybe like some boots i don't i don't know what to wear i really don't know what to wear because part of me is like i'd rather go overdressed than underdressed but then 
if it's like a lunch vibe then I'd probably wear something like this but then if it's a dinner at lunchtime vibe I would probably wear like a nice dress like a dressy going out outfit even though it's lunch I don't know please help me out I've literally got no idea to wear I'd know if it was dinner but because it's lunch I'm a bit like I don't know what to wear I really don't know what to wear so please someone help me in the comments I'm going next Friday so I've got a little while to think of an outfit a week and a bit a week and a day actually <laughs> it's not long is it I really like it the only thing I'm thinking is a blazer looks slightly too big for me and I kind of want it to have more of a fitted look. So I might order the extra small because that's just come back in stock. I got an email for it, but I'd probably wear it with a cream roll neck so that I can wear it with the cream boots. I definitely think this is going to be worn to something, whether that be the Ritz or to my lunch on my birthday because I'm going out for lunch locally. Or I could even wear it with heels if we wanted to make it more dressy. I really, really like this and I think it's definitely a good option for my birthday i thought this could also be a good option for maybe the ritz because it's quite dressy but then you could also dress it down by wearing a shirt underneath it so it's this sparkly kind of like tweedy looking dress my only concern with this is it looks like it's going to be so itchy but it's got like diamonds going down it which i think so nice and then it's black with sparkles and it kind of cinches in a bit and then comes down I do kind of feel like this will literally be so itchy number one and number two be really long so we'll see how it looks on but i don't know i really don't know you're gonna have to let me know in the comments what you think we'll see how it looks on time will tell okay so i have like the tweedy sort of diamante dress on and to my surprise i do really like it and it also it's not as long as i thought it would be either one thing i wasn't wrong about was it was going to be itchy because it is quite itchy but i feel like it would be bearable for like one day the next two items I got to wear together. On the website it's shown as a cold but you could also wear them separately. So I got this blouse with a bow at the front and then it's got all ruffles. It's so cute and so gossip girl. Like it's so nice. And then the sleeves are like bell, bell sleeves. I don't know what you call these. This is the dress. It has like velvet bows with diamonds going down it. And then the sleeves are velvet as well which I thought was so nice. £50 was a bit overpriced for this. I don't think it's worth £50 because the quality isn't that amazing. I'm going to see what my mum thinks and I'm going to see how I think as well when I put it on. I've got the pinafore dress and the blouse on. I do like it, but it just, it makes me look like I'm going to work, to be honest with you. I don't know, I feel like if I went to sixth form, this is something I'd wear to sixth form, not on my birthday. I'm just not keen. It is very Gossip Girl. And maybe the dress on its own would look cute. However, I do love the little bows on it. I think they're so cute. And I love that they've got little diamonds on them. I'm low-key tempted to keep the shirt because I love, like, how Gossip Girl it is, even though it is a bit mum. I don't know. Let me know your thoughts. So, the next cold I got, I don't think I would wear for my birthday. I would wear this, like, out for dinner. I don't know who I saw it on. I think someone wore this on Instagram, and I can't remember who I saw it on. And I just loved it. It's black with like puffy sleeves and then it has a gold hoop at the front. It's such a vibe or even to like a bar. How cute would this be? I loved the gold hoop ring. I love anything black and gold. The skirt has like this detail at the front I could not detail. And I just feel like this is going to be so flattering on. I can't wait to see it. The skirt was £29 and the top was £29 as well. So I don't know if that's a bit much. Is that too much? My mum might love this and think I should wear it for my birthday, but I don't know. Guys, I love this outfit so much. I think I'm just going to have to keep it. I don't have an event for it, really, because I think I'm going to wear the tweed set for one of the things, but oh, I love it. I can't get over it. I don't know what it is about this. I just feel so classy and, like, sophisticated. Imagine, like, this with a shoulder bag going out with some black heels. Oh, my God. Whenever I go out, the only colour I ever wear is black. So this is just the perfect outfit to throw on. I'd probably wear it with a blazer over it, maybe a leather blazer. Or a furry coat, like a black fur coat. I love the gold detail too. I may have to size down in the top though, because it's kind of a bit baggy. Um, I'm not sure. Do you think this fits me or not? <laughs> the last thing I got was a pair of shoes. These are just incredible. And I thought these would go with a lot of my birthday outfits as well. I've got these shoes, which I love. These are 100% being kept because I love them and I think I would wear them to other situations as well, not just my birthday. They're these black Zara mules, which are just to die for. I think they look really designer. And they're not too high as well, which I think is really good. The only thing is, are they going to be that easy to walk in? 
we'll find out. But I've got a Gaucho's lunch brunch booked and I'm wearing a black dress with like this exact detailing. I thought these would be perfect and then I could also wear these with one of the tweed sets maybe for the Ritz. There's just a lot of birthday outfits that these would go with so I think they're perfect and I also would wear them to bars and stuff or like when I go out for dinner because I'm always in black like black is my go-to colour. Yeah I love these and I think these were £30 as well. Oh no they were £40 but for me I'd get so much wear out of these so they were definitely worth the money and they come packaged up really cute as well. Again like Christmas. That is it for today's Zara haul. I really hope you all enjoyed it. Subscribe to my channel for all of my birthday content. If you want to see all my birthday outfits, what I end up wearing and stuff, subscribe. Um, so I'm going to be doing vlogs and everything. Hope you all enjoyed and I'll see you in my next one. Bye. Mwah.